Welcome back. This is Strictly Strings, page 15. Oh boy, it's getting exciting. Because now we are not only playing pizzicato, not only playing with the bow, we are also adding notes on the staff. Now, if you've never read a note on the staff, in the Strictly Strings book, it shows you exactly where they are. So at the top of every page, there's a little gray box, and it has the word staff, and it has your clef, and then it shows you where the notes are that you're about to learn. Well, on page 15, we're learning open strings. Why might that be? Well, you are just getting comfortable with the bow, and they want to make sure that you feel great moving from open string to open string to open string to open string. This also gets your eyes used to seeing the entire staff without having to worry about placing your left hand on the fingerboard. So, page 15, open strings and rolling our bow from string to string. I said the word rolling. Well, you'll notice each string is round. So as you move from one string to the other, this is very relaxed and very round in shape as you move from string to string. We don't want to go aggressively from one angle to another angle. We want the feeling of roundness in our arm, in our knuckles, in our shoulder. Everything is round. This will help to keep you tension free as well as let the instrument ring. So, let's get started. Page 15, number one. First, we're gonna say the note names out loud. That's right, we're gonna say the note names in rhythm. Then, we're gonna put our instrument up and we're gonna pluck the note while we say it. Then, we're going to airbow the note while we say it. Then, we will put it all together. That's a lot of repetitions, but it's the best way for your brain to absorb all of this information on a level that allows you to recall that information later. So here we go. Page 15, number one. First, we say it. One, two, say it, go. D, D, rest, rest, D, D, rest, rest, A, A, rest, rest, A, A, rest, rest, D, D, rest, rest, D, D, rest, rest. Get your instruments up. Find your open D string for pizzicato. And one, two, say it and play it. single time you play it, check. Bow hand good, elbow height good, opening and closing the elbow. Is the bow parallel to the bridge? Is it? And then you'll be able to repeat something you can play well and build good habits. Okay, you've repeated it four more times. Here is number two. Number two, we have open D, then we roll to open A, 
then we roll to open D, and then we roll to open G. So we have three open strings to deal with. First time through, we say it. Ready? One, two, say it, and D, D, ready, and D, D, ready, and D, D, rest, rest, G, G, rest, rest, D, D, rest, rest, G, G. Bring the instrument up. Instrument up. Find open D with your pizzicato hand. Now, we airbow, number two. Ready and airbow, go. D, D, rest, rest. A, A, rest, rest. D, D, rest, rest. G, G, rest, rest. D, D, rest, rest. G, G. Frog, down bow. Instruments up. Place the bow near the frog on your open D. Check with your elbow height. Check with your hand. Is the pinky curved and on top? Here is number two with the bow. One, two, number two with the bow and go. D, D at the frog. A, A at the frog. D, D down to G. To D, 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 roll to G, 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 P, and ow! D, D, A, A, D, D, roll to G, 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 roll to D, 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 roll to G. Number two, rolling between three strings. Now, go back and repeat it. Try and repeat it all five times if we did. Say it, pizzicato, air bow, and then play it twice with your bow. If you do all those steps and you do them every day, you'll get very, very comfortable with that technique. Your sound will get better and better and your ability to read notes will get better and better and then we can add more layers of learning. All right, here's the next and final one. This is page 15, number three. You ready? First, we say the notes. One, two, ready, go. G, 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 D, D, B, D, A, 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 D, D, B, B, G, 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 D, D. Done. Three notes to deal with. G, D, and A. Pizzicato. Here we go. Open G. Ready, go. G. while saying the note names. Remember, the frog is where we start generally for down bows. One, two, ready, and G, 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 D, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, 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 D, D. Lovely. Last thing, put our instrument up. Bring our bow on top of the instrument, cellos and basses, place the bow on open G, relax your shoulders, feel the weight of your hand in the bow, in the string. Not forcing, but pulling the sound out of the instrument. Here is page 15, 
Number three, with the bow. One, two, one, two, ready, and G, 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 D, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, 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 D, D, repeat. That's all we'll do for page 15, numbers 1, 2, and 3. Please repeat, and then repeat, and then repeat. And you'll have mastery of the concept, and we can add more ideas later. Thanks for stopping by. Always be your best selves. And if you practice every day, by the end of the year, you'll be taller.